This might be the cutest video I have ever done. This is Klee. She is perfect. Now this is Klee in her blossoming starlight skin. Words cannot even begin to describe this. Hello everyone, I am Sakai Samurai, your guide in the world to Vat, and today we're going to be taking a very special look at Mondstadt's favorite arsonist, and how she is just flawlessly flexing in a measurable drip in her blossoming starlight skin. Clay's new outfit displays her with a soft fabric dress, her small buckled shoes, and her dark brown little gloves, all topped off with a pointy mage's hat, all embroidered in intricate designs and patterns. This unique little outfit is a special exquisite dress that is only brought out during the biggest of occasions, with this description also noting that she only likes to wear this during important quote unquote performances. And uh, knowing Klee, I can only imagine what these large scaled performances actually are. Regardless, this may be one of my favorite outfits in the whole game. Aside from jeans. <clears throat> And if you are someone who loves to keep up with Klee's story and to see her continue to grow as a character, then you are in for an awesome story today. But before we get ahead of ourselves and into the main event, let's take a moment to look at some interesting points that you may not know about her new skin. First and foremost is its name with it actually having several different meanings in different languages. While it may be Blossoming Starlight in English, her name can be translated to Cream Flower and Starlight Candle in Korean, which is just slightly different from her skin's description, with it reading out that her outfit resembles Cream Flowers and Scarlet Candles. And while the other languages change the name slightly, her Vietnamese translation has a meaning of flamboyant fireworks. Lastly, this skin is also meant to resemble Little Klee evolving as a character, with her mother being a powerful adventurer and alchemist and even a mage, with Little Klee already showing signs of showing great power growing within her, this dress represents her transition from being the tiny little spark knight of Mondstadt to flourishing into the red velvet mage. And with that is a story. One afternoon after arriving in Mondstadt, Kaya and Klee found themselves having a small chat as they watched the windmills turn in the distance. The word mage danced around in Klee's head, and while she had indeed heard the title before, after hearing the stories of a flaming red mage, she couldn't help herself but wonder on what its significance was. Kaya couldn't help but grin as he shook the bottle of wine he held in his hand and said, A mage is called a mage because they use a mystifying force called magic. He said this with his normal mysterious smile. But the most important thing for a mage to think about is how to use the awesome power of their magic. He would then go on to remind Klee that the red mage that they had spoke about was a legendary hero to the people, and that years ago she had used her magic to fulfill the wishes of those around her, helping people for the good of her heart and to give to those in need. Because of her kindness, the people would go on to sign her name into songs and stories, and that she had grown to be a source of happiness for those that needed her. Kaya's smile grew bigger as he would then go on to say, although she may have been a mage who used her power for good, there was still plenty of wicked magical mages out there who would much rather use their magic for the wrong ways. Instead of trying to better their world, they would rather see people sad and upset just like the mage that had casted these spells onto them had felt. He then raised his glass as a toast to the doting little girl and asked her a simple question. So, Red Velvet Klee, how do you plan to use your magic? The reflection in the juice in Klee's glass showed her powerful warm smiling getting even bigger. Klee wants to make everyone happy, she said with joy. But the moment she had said those words, she had realized the complexity of something such as this. And that people who are sad in this world surely are sad for a reason. And that she had wondered if a forced smile brought on by magic would be an even worse outcome than tears itself. Clay's childish mind quickly worked this problem out, noting that instead she could just use her magic to solve everyone's problems for them. She went on to say that she could cure them from being sick or that she could use her power to solve everyone's money problems, and that she could solve world hunger by letting everyone eat fish every day for every single meal, and that everyone could finally be happy and play all day long. After she went on exclaiming this, Clay then found herself again, lost in thought. 
realizing that still that may not be enough. Looking up at the bright blue sky, and after a small pause, Clean would continue by saying, I want to hear everyone's wishes, and save them, and use my powerful amazing magic to give everyone the happiness they want the very, very most. And after saying this, Clean knew in her heart that a true smile was born out of happiness. After all of this being said, Kaya was stunned. His face shone complete disbelief at the wonderful words and the sheer passion this little mage had within her. He then said, Well in that case, our little Klee is going to have to try her best, isn't she? Perhaps someday you and your magic will appear in the happiest and most joyous of stories. And that was the story of Klee's Blossoming Starlight, a heartwarming showcase of her immeasurable joy and innocence, all wrapped up in a fantastic skin. And with that being said, how fast did it take for you to buy this? Or are you one of the poor souls who are still trying to pull her? Either way everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I do all sorts of Genshin related content here on my channel, ranging from plenty of lore videos to also doing theories and parody videos as well. Also, feel free to check out my Fontaine prep series that I've recently started here on the channel, as we are in the middle of preparing everyone with plenty of lore content to get ready for Fontaine. If you liked today's video, give me a like, and if you want to see even more from me, feel free to subscribe today. Regardless everyone, I shall see you all in the next video.